Seconds out, round two. Chelsea and Middlesbrough toe to toe again. Defeat at the Riverside a fortnight ago was a knockdown rather than a knockout for the Blues, but can they lift themselves off the canvas to reach a 10th League Cup final? Or will Middlesbrough secure a Wembley place 20 years on from lifting the trophy for the first and only time in their history? If they are to make it to the final. And ahead of kickoff here, there will be a tribute to former Chelsea striker Tommy Baldwin who scored 92 goals in 239 appearances and lifted the FA Cup and European Cup Winners' Cup during his time at Stamford Bridge. He's recently passed away, aged 78, after a long illness. Silva. That's a good spot for Chilwell, he got there. And Ryder goes and Chilwell saying he was fouled. And a few times in that first leg, I thought it was company sense. It's a brilliant pick out this is from Tottenham Silva. I think he's asking the question is that Clubbers clearly came to win the ball and hasn't and got nowhere near the ball. And Chilwell's got the header onto the ball where I thought could he have possibly done better there? Could have easily been a foul, I think. Was last win at Stamford Bridge 49 years ago under Jack Charlton. Of course, they don't have to win tonight. A draw would be enough. But for now, they are trying to keep Chelsea at bay, who are dominating the ball, which comes as no real surprise. Chilwell, lovely, into Sterling. He's going to score it here for Breuer, and it's in. Chelsea all square in the tie. Armando Breuer. Giving Chelsea the lead on the night. Well, tell you what, this is all totally about Ventura for me because he just witnesses that Cobble's not going to get there, and then he has the vision to put that ball through the eye of the needle, picks out Rackham and Sterling, and then the rest. It's inevitable, it really is because. Amanda Boyer, well, all he's got to do is make sure he controls the ball, he does so. It actually looked like it could have been a, an own goal. But that, I'm sure, will go down as a Johnny Harrison own goal. But Middlesbrough have responded by getting down the other end quickly. Played in by Barlassa. Lovely touch! And Rogers denied by Petrovic. Great bit of movement, obviously won off the training ground, and tell you what, it's brilliant from Morgan Rogers. Chelsea here just being patient, biding their time, don't need to force anything now. Disassi. Sterling. Lovely flick, Disassi round the back, there's the pullback, scuffed by Boyle Fernandez! And Chelsea have turned the tire on! That's exactly how they've gone about it since getting the equalising goal. But the run from Sterling and then the complimentary run from the Sassi, the cutback. Yes, they may get a little bit fortunate, but they're trying to pass their way into the 18 yard box. And that run, the little flick from Raheem Sterling's brilliant. And then having a midfield arriving on the seed as Fernandez does as he does. And it just looks so simple, doesn't it? And that just shows you the quality that this Chelsea side have. When it clicks, it clicks. And uh, Fernandez with his fifth goal and Chelsea blue. And Carrick won this competition three times as a player with uh, Manchester United. In 2017, the former Chelsea boss Jose Mourinho. Still problems here for Milos, but he's Just watch the 
sets it. He doesn't just admire that he's won the ball back. He wants to get in the 18-yard box. He's hungry, and he gets rewarded for that. Wins the ball back there. Gets himself into an 18-yard box. And Sterling picks him out, and then the finish. Absolutely brilliant. I mean, that was a quick turnover of, what, six, seven, eight, nine seconds. And that's what Premier League sides do. And punish teams quickly. And that's what Chelsea can do, and they've been certainly on sync this evening. His first goal since scoring on his debut. Palmer. Leave it round the back, looking for Fernandez. Nice idea, but Glover there to retrieve it for Middlesbrough. He's, he's impressed me. He's on Fernandez this evening, I must admit, because one of them runs that he makes going forward are so hard to pick up. He's occupying a centre half or a full back. It's just disjointing Middlesbrough defensively. And they've got a lot of attacking players on the pitch, but well, there's a stumble, and Chelsea are in with Cole Palmer. And that should be Chelsea at Wembley. They lead 4 0 on the night, and we've not even reached half time. Well, you make mistakes in games like this when you get punished, you really do, and that's been the case. Trying to play it, which what does do? And then here, well, this will be one that won't want to be looked at. I think it's Barlasser, isn't it, that's trying to certainly get on the ball and dictate. It's about being brave. That's exactly what it needed, someone who was going to be brave on the ball and try and make Middlesbrough play, but credit to Cole Palmer. Just have a look at this for a finish. Composure, a little jink. Just gives Glover something to think about, and then he just slides it in that bottom corner. What a season he's having. It's been a brilliant signing for Chelsea. Eyebrows were raised when he left Manchester City, but credit to him for seeking out first-team football elsewhere, leaving a club of that stature. Don't get me wrong, Chelsea's still a club of great stature. But uh, it was still a bold move for him to leave Manchester City. He acknowledged that, but he wanted regular first-team football. He's getting it, he's thriving. And Chelsea are reaping the benefits. Oh, it's been a great introduction, I think. All the players that they've brought to the football club, the money that they've spent, I'm not hiding the fact of that, but he's been the standout material, hasn't it? And we have to look at the goals and assists. The team team player that he's brought to the side. He's got a good time with this five. Well, he missed no, several no, opportunities no, 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 on T side a fortnight ago. But he puts his name in lights for a second time here at Stamford Bridge. And Chelsea raised the score to 5 0 on the night. Well, I'm not sure about that young man's board, Cole Palmer. He's on absolute flames, isn't he? That's for sure, and Chelsea have been really is brilliant. Just look at the way he just peels away, gets some spines and little pockets of space. This is what I say when all young players want to play in a 10 and want to be attacking midfield, go and produce bits of quality like that, find the space, get picked out. Want a guy like the brilliant, knows exactly where Cole Palmer's going. And Michael Carrick stood there. Putting a lonely figure inside that technical area, but he knows that there are bigger challenges to come in the championship as he tries to push Middlesbrough towards those playoff positions. But this will hurt, regardless of the talent on show for Chelsea and the gulf in class. This will hurt. Yeah, definitely will. I mean, so this is his journey. In the head coach, is that, is that he's going to come across big, hefty results. You need to ask the question is where the Borough want to be. Gallagher into Madaloke, looking for number six here, Chelsea, and it's gone in off Vandenberg. Middlesbrough hit for six at the bridge. Well and truly outclassed. Johnny Madaloke. Taking all of the congratulations. We'll just look at where it's come from, playing in them little triangles, giving the ball away. How many times have we seen that from Middlesbrough? Credit to 
Only that well kick. Well, the kicks. Only Gallagher that picks the ball up and just peel away from Cole Palmer, creates the space for Madway came then. Just the composure. He said, Vandenberg is never going to get out of the way. It's impossible for him to clear that because the strike's so powerful from Madway came. And Borough have absolutely been blown away. Yes. I think it'll be one game that they'll certainly look back. O'Brien. Hackney. Leave it in there and flick towards goal. Andean and Middlesbrough do have a goal on the night. Matt Crooks. And those 4,500 Seasiders, well, their celebrations are cut short by the offside flag, and it's just not going for as well. I mean, listen. You want to see a goal for them travelling fans, and it's, oh, it's marginal, it really is. Not just this. Oh, okay. Happy for Middlesbrough. On to Morgan Rogers. Lewis O'Brien is up there with him. It's Rogers to Ben Wynn. And Middlesbrough do have a goal. And it's the man who's been scoring all their goals in this Carabao Cup. With his fifth goal in the competition, oh, Middlesbrough about to have the final word in the. It is something to cherish at least. I tell you what, by the way, this is some finish as well. And really, have a look at the, just the short back left, and then the power that Morgan Rogers generates here to stick it in the far corner. Petrovic, yes, is a lot of nothing to do, but he's not even getting near that because. Is right inside that post, it's whipped with pace. Fernandez, all eyes on John Brooks, and Chelsea have reached a 10th League Cup final. Middlesbrough of the Championship. Blown away at the bridge. Four first half goals, and the job was done, but Chelsea won't finish there. They got two more after the restart. Middlesbrough got the last goal of the game, and some goal too from Morgan Rogers. But that was merely a footnote. Took nothing away from Chelsea. They were professional from the off, they wanted it. They were determined to make sure that victory was theirs. And Maurizio Pochettino got exactly the response that he was looking for after the disappointment at the Riverside two weeks previous. Chelsea simply outclassed their championship opponents.